So cool, science! Is friction good for anything? Hey, have you ever had a hard time trying to twist those plastic lids off those plastic bottles? Well, today I'm gonna show you a wicked cool reason you would want to increase friction. So the first thing you need is a plastic bottle. This plastic bottle has been brought to you by ads. We cram a bunch of them in a three minute video. Oh yeah, okay, so well, whatever. So here's the thing. It's a common everyday object that you already have in your house. So all you have to do is get yourself a This spontaneous interruption has been brought to you by Non-skippable ads. We'll interrupt your entertainment for 30 consecutive seconds. Try non-skippable ads. We make sure you don't miss anything. Okay, so are you done there? Like, are you with your ads? Like, serious, like, you only gotta have, like, one ad. Like, that's it. Like, put one ad at the beginning of the video. You don't need to have, like, 50 billion ads going through the whole thing. Like, you're interrupting my art, and I'm trying to show people something really wicked cool, the science experiments. I'm watching, bro. This freakout has been brought to you by... No. All right, no. We're, we're doing a science experiment. No! Having trouble popping those lids? Of course, all you need is a common everyday rubber band. So, all you have to do is take the rubber band, wrap it around the plastic lid a couple of times, and then... Give it a twist! Just like this! <laughs> so wicked cool! A lid that wouldn't pop off came off by just using a simple rubber band. That is so wicked cool! <laughs> How does wrapping the rubber band make it easier to twist the cap off? And what does this have to do with how good friction is? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. There are plenty of reasons why you need friction as well as want to increase friction, such as with tools where they put rubber handles which help you to grip the tool and stop it from slipping and sliding. Objects can better adhere, allowing for better control and stability. The rubber band on your plastic cap increases the friction, making it easier to open the lid. We need friction to control the speed of moving vehicles. The brake pad increases friction between the pad and the tire rim, or the car's brake disc, thus slowing the wheel down, allowing you to keep the vehicle at the speed you want. Also allows you to change the direction of your vehicle by gripping the road. Friction is also important in sports, such as baseball and football players, which use cleats or studs to help them move faster. The cleats or studs stick to the ground, which stops their shoes from sliding, which helps them to increase their speed when running. So now you know the importance of friction, you know? Being able to pop the top easily off a plastic bottle is why science is so 